I went crazy. I was buying shoes, I was buying video games, and I just wasn't thinking because I'm like, hey, this isn't my money. Well, it was. How's it going, everybody? My name is Matt James. I'm an entrepreneur and TV personality, born and raised in Raleigh, North Carolina. I grew up with my mom and my older brother, John, and it was typically just us three, you know? Uh, I was raised by a single parent mom. I didn't realize that we were going without certain things until it was brought to my attention by a classmate. I would say it was most prevalent for me when we would come back from Christmas break, we'd come back from summer. It's very obvious, you know, when your sneakers don't look like everyone else's sneakers in the class and um, your backpack and your, you know, accessories are different than everyone else's accessories in the classroom. There's not really much you could do about it, so you try not to think about it. But I couldn't help but think about it when I got to Wake Forest, when I got to college and I started having to manage my own personal finances. I remember arriving on campus at Wake Forest, you know, fresh out of high school. I got my first car, 1997 Beater. It was so old. It was probably the worst car on campus. I've got on all football stuff, so it's no uh, surprise to anybody that I'm, I'm an athlete and it's all free clothes. And, you know, when you're in college, when you're in high school, when you're growing up, anything free you're taking, whether it's food or clothes. So, you know, I'm wearing all this stuff that was given to me and my peers and my classmates have on, you know, the nice duck boots, you know, the nice Patagonia jacket. I found out what a credit card was because I'd never had a credit card. I'd only had a debit card. And with the debit card, you can only spend what you have. And with a credit card, you know, you can start to ball a little bit, but no one told me that I would have to pay that back and that interest just makes things more expensive. And I went crazy. I was buying shoes, I was buying video games, and I just wasn't thinking because I'm like, hey, this isn't my money. Well, it was. I, like an idiot, had put my home address on my credit card statement. So, mom calls me, hey, um, quick question, what's this bill from so-and-so uh, addressed to you? And my heart sank, I'm like, this, what does she know? Does she know too much? Did, did, has she opened the mail? And I'm like, oh yeah, I, I actually got a credit card when the semester started. And she's like, don't you think that's something we kind of should have talked about, you know, as you don't have any experience with credit and how to use a credit card. And I'm like, no, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm a grown up. I'm in college now, I'm, not, I'm out of the house. And I took it a step further. I'm like, yeah, go ahead, open it. I don't care, like it's, it's your house, like open my mail. And she opened it and I could just hear the disappointment in her voice, you know, she had done such a good job of making sure that my brother and I didn't go without anything. I got a full ride to play football in college, so my mom didn't have to pay for school. I was gonna graduate with no debt. And then here my mom's, you know, it was, it was, it was tough because she had worked so hard to put us in the right situation and I had taken 10 steps backwards. From that moment on, I committed to myself, I committed to her that I was gonna get on top of my finances and not just being frugal, but actually setting a budget in place and working on a plan to pay down this debt. I was, I was panicking. Lucky for me, I was very fortunate to get a job in finance in Pittsburgh when I graduated. So I took those lessons that I learned from college and I kept applying them in my daily life, you know? When I moved to Pittsburgh, I found the cheapest apartment I could on Craigslist. I'm talking about dirt cheap. And I saved the money that I would be spending on rent, paying down that debt. Save that money I'd be spending on going out, partying, doing all these trips like I was in college, putting that into a savings account. It didn't take long to pay down the debt on my credit card, but it all could have been avoided if I would have had productive conversations around finance and had someone in my ear taking full responsibility for my actions and come up with the course to make sure that I was making the right financial decisions. Going through this, I learned there was so much about good money habits I never learned in school. That's why 
The nonprofit I co-founded, ABC Food Tours, is focused on financial literacy in communities in underserved areas throughout New York City. I always tell my families and our students, educate yourself about money. If you're borrowing it, if you're spending it, if you're saving it, so you don't end up in a situation like I was. There are a ton of resources out there to help you get out of debt and manage your money so your money's not managing you. You can subscribe to the Bankrate YouTube channel for more money tips and check out the link in the description below for the free Bankrate debt management course. I promise the relief you feel when you pay off that credit card debt is worth it. And it opens up your opportunities in life when you're not tied to a monthly credit card bill. Now that I've got more of that financial freedom that I've always wanted, I've turned my attention to saving up so that I can help my mom live a better life. When you think about it, she really is the reason I am where I am today. Isn't that one of the biggest reasons why we should try to get financially healthy? To take care of the people that we love and to pay it back to our community.